We haven't paid your registration on this car in almost two years. No, you don't. No. I don't have registration? No. Are you kidding me? I am not. I don't kid about things like Arizona Motor Vehicle Law. It's a very serious matter. Interesting fact about Arizona is we can check your registration, but we can't check your insurance. So on this stop, I had already known before I even pulled that car over that her registration was expired. She was displaying expired tags and ran a check through the computer. It checks through the state database and then I find out, yep, it's expired. So when I make that stop and I go up and she says, oh, I have a registration. I already know at that point, that's, that's just not true. You gotta wear your seatbelt while you're driving down the road. I'm sorry, I was on a important phone call. I know you were on the phone and that's my reason for stopping you because you can't be driving down the road talking on your phone. Oh. So, and you have to wear your seatbelt while you're driving down the road, not talking on your phone. And I'm oh, like, hello, children. hey, there's kids in here. Get all those people like, back there okay, whose safety you're responsible for. What are you doing? Is there any reason why we're literally stopped in, in the, middle, the of the middle of the road, right? The law requires that you pull parallel to the rightmost curb and stop. We are literally in the middle of, like I'm standing in the middle of the lane. The middle of the lane is here where I'm standing. The only reason cars aren't running into me is because my car is blocking. It's a super safe spot right there. So let's move down there and we'll continue this conversation. Someone left their chair in the middle of the road, which I feel like, although the view is nice, probably not the best place. Ugh. So going through here, you see that there's a whole bunch of different stops. Um, this is kind of a clearance sale of all little bits. There's a good chance that these stops weren't all made in one day. Um, maybe not even all in one week. Um, and it's just a whole bunch of stuff that we're all trying to get put together in one video, get to three minutes, kick it out to make the internet happy, and then get on to whatever our next video is gonna be after this. You know what the, the posted speed limit is? Directly in front of Post and Butte High School? You don't? Do you feel like that's something that might be important as you are part of the motoring public here in Santan Valley? Well, if you look right there, it says 35. If you look directly adjacent to us, it says 45. So it's 35 during school hours, which is why it says school on it, and 45 right here. So it's also 45 over there. Your speed, 75 as you move my doors fast. Off. And in case you're not a graduate of Post Butte High School, 75 and 45, that's 30 miles an hour above the posted speed limit. So while I was sitting back there, and I'm looking at the back of your car with that enormous spoiler that's there, is that something aftermarket? Yeah. It is, so you, you paid to have that on the back of your car? Does it make you go faster? Sam was like, hey, you gotta mention something about that spoiler. Like, ask him if it makes them go faster, because like no one really knows what they're for. They're just there and they look dumb. No. It doesn't? Does it make you go slower? Because if so, that thing needs to be bigger because you drive really fast. Do you have any idea what the speed limit is here on Gansel? 45, 50. On the very last stop here, the stop's conducted. It's on Interstate Gansel, and it's just north of Bella Vista. Um, there's an LDS church there. It's on the west side of the road, and I do a ton of stops in this particular location. Um, so this is kind of the south end of where we get a, a bunch of stops, just a little bit south of Post and Butte High School. North of there, we make a ton of stops at the Medical Plaza. So if you were gonna do a fries or Frank drinking game and you were gonna take a drink every time that I stopped a car in one of those two, you wouldn't be sober by the end. Almost two years, close to the day ago, was written a citation for 67 and a 50 at that same exact location by another guy in the traffic unit. And then a month before that, in May of 2019, he was stopped also for speeding, also by another guy in the traffic unit and also issued a citation. Checked out your record here with the sheriff's office. It appears you have a, a learning curve that's more oh. like a like a gradual increase. First, first mention of the learning curve. So you've been stopped now by three separate people from the Pinal County Sheriff's Office traffic unit. So it, it just, it appears like you really like traffic school. So I'm gonna give you, it, since you appear to like it so much, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to go yet again. Awesome. Check awesome. civil here, makes it so that it's not a criminal arrest. It's it's simply a an administrative issue you have to take care of. Okay. Um, same court, Pioneer Justice Court, located down on Hunt Highway. I know you know how to do this. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's oh, Office you're Traffic the one on Unit. The videos. I am the one on the videos. <laughs> so, and like on videos, the first time I someone was like, it's just you. Just like I do in real life. <laughs> Way back when, I, I hadn't been recognized yet. 
So it was notable at that point in the Fridays with Frank series that I walked up to a car and someone's like, you're the guy on the videos. It wasn't like, hey, I watch your boss or hey, I know the sheriff's office. It was me. Like it was like, you're the guy on the internet. Um, so there was nothing crazy about the stop. Uh, I think I got, gave the guy a, a citation for registration. But the fact of the matter is it was funny that it was one of the very first times that on camera I was recognized as like that cop on the internet who is actually, like I said, a cop in real life. The reason I stopped you is you're displaying expired registration. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just went to the ATM because I'm on my way to the DMV right now. I had got stopped before, they told me to go Very. to the fix. I'm going today. The reason I stopped you is your registration's like a year expired. That stop just ended up on the cutting room floor. There was nothing notable about it, so it was just part of the video that we took. Then three weeks later, I stopped her a second time and Sam's got a great memory. Sam's with me again and he's like, hey, you just stopped this girl. And then I get up there and I, I recognize her and then I'm like, wait a second, I just stopped you. So, um, so then Sam went to the cutting room floor, got that video and then blended those two together and was able to use some old video along with some new video um, and make that portion of, of this video. So it was, a, uh, it, was, it was fortuitous that he ended up having that old video and uh, it really came in handy. No, I've been working. I get paid tomorrow and I'm going up there to pay it. I, had, I pulled over in Gilbert and he told me. Did he get you, give you a ticket? No, he didn't give me a ticket. When did you get pulled over? Yesterday. Oh. You're still driving this same car. I know, but I... I wrote you a ticket three weeks ago yeah. for no registration and no current, regi and no current proof insurance. Yeah. You don't that's have current registration today. You don't have current proof insurance. I'm, I'm telling you, literally, look. This is three hundred and fifty dollars, so I can go get it done. So just so you know, when I stop people for having expired registration, you know what they always tell me? I'm on my way. I'm on my way to DMV right now. I'm on my way. But you, it's, it's only funny because I actually really was on my way to DMV. And I'm not going to cite you for not having current registration. I, for, for whatever reason, I believe you. Now, I could be a sucker, and it's happened before, so maybe I'm a sucker. But no, I have. It happens. So all I did was write you a no insurance ticket. Okay. No points on your license, nothing. Still something you have to have, okay? See your driver's license, please. Uh, I just want to you over. Absolutely, you may. Let me see your driver's license, and I will definitely tell you. So my name is Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is the posted speed limit on this road is 45, and your speed was 76. I feel like... You shouldn't have to ask. Now, I know California is a little different than Arizona because we're America here and you're California there. Do you guys use kilometers per hour? Because 76 is really close to like what 45 miles per hour would be in kilometers. So do you get those two confused? A lot of the time stuff that's on video just it comes out of my mouth and sometimes it's funny and Sam uses it. When I made that stop and went back to the car Sam actually said, hey, you need to do the kilometers per hour to miles per hour like calculation and note that when you go back up to the car. So we looked it up, figured out what it was, figured out it was real close to kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour. But that whole, that whole little bit was Sam's idea that I mentioned that. Um, how it came out of my mouth was kind of mine. Um, we weren't sure if I got it right because, uh, because I don't math in public. The reason I stopped you is you made an illegal right-hand turn out of that driveway there, crossing all three lanes of traffic, and then failed to yield to the car that was there already in the left lane, and then caused it to slam on its brakes so it didn't hit you because you made an illegal turn. He cut me off, like ran a light and completely cut me off. So I was trying to tell him, like, what's the deal? He almost made me hit a semi. So why, why does that, how does that affect your day? Because I'm trying to make sure that he doesn't lose other people. Do you think that you're going to teach that guy a lesson? Probably not. Right. What you did almost do just now when you changed lanes is you almost knocked him off his bike. If you noticed him flip you off. It's like instant karma. So motorcycle goes by, flips that guy off, absolutely justifiably. Wasn't road raging or anything like that. Just, hey, said, hey, look, and you almost hit me. Um, and then I'm there for that correct, corrective action, both for his speed violation of 22 over and making an unsafe lane change, almost hitting that guy. So yeah, I'm sure that motorcycle rider was like, man, I wish there was a cop here. And there I am. So sometimes it, uh, it just all works out. Extending the middle finger or giving you the bird. Yeah. Um, that's because you almost just knocked him off his bike because you changed lanes literally into, as you were 22 miles an hour over the speed limit, 
making so you're, all of your decisions are poor. Okay, so it's it's good. Now, although you can't teach him a lesson, I can teach you a lesson. 56. Both of these cars. I feel like you should be wearing a seatbelt. It's one of those things. Well, I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. And the reason I stopped you is you're 21 miles an hour over the speed limit in this school zone while you're coming to your own school. We don't typically do PSAs. We're not a big PSA agency, like going out with a purpose, but back to school is a, is a great reason for it. Uh, so Sam and I went out on this particular day. We were looking for stops in school zones. We were doing some specific school zone enforcement. It wasn't just me, it was, it was all the guys in my unit all going out, all hitting different school zones. Um, so I picked some school zones that are better to work with a car uh, and we, we went out really trying to let the public know like, hey, we are out there enforcing school zone speed. We want people to be safe. Um, and then we ended up getting all these stops, which ended up being great. I don't know if you happen to see us sitting there in the bright blue, bluer than your car blue charger under a giant school crossing sign, but 21 miles an hour as you pass that sign is way too fast. Okay, would you agree with that? Right, school, like you want, you want to keep your friends safe, even though, I mean, you're pretty much driving a roller skate, but still, if you hit someone with this roller skate, you'd hurt them, right? So you were speeding too. Yeah, you were. So, but I happen to get them on LiDAR because they were in the way of you. Why are you shaking? What is this? What is this? How old are you? 16. Okay. Right, so you're getting up there in an age that you're kind of getting close to being an adult. Well, make adult decisions, okay? There's no reason. One, you were like one car length off of her butt. You were riding her like she had a saddle on. And you're both over 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. Okay? She's drafting her friend to school. Me? That's what she's doing. Yeah, I just didn't want you to hit me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, so now that you're blocking traffic for everyone, go to school, make better decisions, do not speed here. Is that perfectly clear? Okay, go on and get out of here. There we go, D is for drive. You can go. Yep. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So for the first week of school, um, the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit is out in force in school zones all across Santan Valley. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office is moving from school zone to school zone. They actually gave us a, um, a schedule of all the schools. So what we're gonna do is move from school to school uh, throughout the morning. About 27. Do you see that sign posted directly in the middle of the road? It looks just like that one. On the other side, it says schools crossing 15 miles an hour. I locked you in at 27 miles an hour. On the uh, on the empathetic list scale, uh, like freeway, I'll give some people some a little bit of, of room to speed. Uh, on school zones, there's there's just about zero tolerance. You hear me in this video say something about the empathetic list scale, um, having like empathy towards speed. Like on the freeway, you know, I'll give people a decent amount of speed over. School zones, low on the empathetic list scale. Um, that started with uh, who we affectionately call Minivan Karen. Uh, in one of the earlier episodes, uh, I dropped the word empathetic list. Um, it's a made up word. I made it up on the spot because I needed, to, I needed a word to convey my feelings. Um, and at that time, my vocabulary wasn't robust like I needed it. So, so I used empathetic list. Um, and that is now, uh, I have it on a, I, a, Schmidlin actually made me a coffee mug with empathetic list on it. Um, so it's now a word that's mine. It's, it's, uh, it's, I've pretty much coined it. Did you happen to see the school child size signs that are in the middle of the road that say school zone 15 miles per hour? I did not. I know you didn't because you went by it at 33 miles an hour. You're more than double the posted speed limit through that school zone. I did not see that at all. I'm yeah. sorry about that. And I Do you think that, that looking around through your giant windshield during school zone time I'm with all the kids nowhere. around, when you made that left turn, you didn't turn into the first available lane, then you accelerated to more than double the speed limit in this posted school zone. And all of the window tint in your car's illegal. So those are my those are my top three so far. Is your uh, current address in Chandler? No, I stay right here on... Uh, okay, I'm just, all I'm going by is the address on both your... Really good, yeah. All right, so how long have you been staying here in oh. Copper Basin? I remember this guy couple months. So what's your current address here in Copper Basin? Do 
you're literally born in 94, you don't know your address. That's a, the world's a crazy place. All right, and what's the zip code down here? <coughs> All right, let's take care of some business here. I remember the address. It's not. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know if there was giving me issues. No, it's because I put in exactly what you told me because I figured that as an adult you would know your address. Now I'm the idiot. Yeah. Okay, we all have to fix that with the court. Um, so all the information up here is the information that you provided me, which apparently is wrong because as an adult you don't know your address. Appreciate you wearing your seatbelt, man. Just slow down a little bit. We got kids all over the place here. It's the first day of school. Kids are excited to go back and, and learn some stuff. All right, maybe they'll learn their address. Yeah. All right, man, drive safe. That was the episode 23, the back to school special. Had some good commentary in that one. Uh, coming up next, one of my favorite stops, uh, episode number 24. Guy really thinks that he knows a lot more than he does, and uh, we're going to find out how that ends up.